Okay, in this video, I want to share with you the five key things that you need to consider when you go live on Facebook. And those things are going to make real, real, real difference. Those are the most important things that make a difference between having nobody stay and watch and having everybody stay and watch your live stream once they join, if you actually follow those. So let's dive in. Actually, before we dive in, let me just introduce myself really, really quickly. My name is Eva Palikova. I am an executive coach for entrepreneurs and I work with coaches and consultants and service-based entrepreneurs who feel like they have been sort of throwing spaghetti on the wall to see what sticks when it comes to marketing and I help them uh, I, I help them generate more clients, more profits, more revenues through building a sustainable systems-based business. So let's dive in because Facebook going live is so, so, so important. So the key number one, you guys, is to kick it off strong. When you go live, you have 15 seconds to get somebody's attention. All right. So if you're not going to tell them what it's about and the results, they're not going to stay and watch. So that's the number one thing you have to cover, whether or not somebody has already joined you live, right? Because most people are going to watch the replay. 90% of the people who are watching are going to just watch the replay. So you need to make sure you're kicking it off very, very strong. Tell them what it is, the title of it, and what are the key results that they're going to get from watching. That's a key number one. Key number two is asking for engagement, asking for people to comment, let you know their name, asking simple questions, simple is the key, right, for them to engage, yes, no kind of thing. So that's the key number two. Key number three is teaching th three key points, no more, okay? Don't overwhelm people with a bunch of content. This is my personal blind spot. I tend to give people so, so, so much. And then I get feedback. Oh my gosh, Eva, I can't keep up with you. There's too much going on. And I just couldn't keep up with it. So I just shut down. Okay. So make sure you're sharing three points. No more. That's it. And I'm breaking this rule right now because I'm sharing five points. But they're pretty simple, right? So if you're doing something simple, it's okay. But if you're teaching, you know, um, you know, pretty big concepts, then you want to teach three no more, okay? Key number four is always sharing stories, always sharing your personal experience. This is so important. When you don't, when you just teach dry content and you don't add your stories, People are not going to remember and people are not going to stay on. People are not going to be engaged with you. So what I recommend you do, if you're serious about going live every single week, which you should, is that you grab a pen and paper and you write out a list of 10 to 20 stories. Just write out the titles, no more. You don't have to write out what it's about because you're going to know. Excuse me. And every time you are crafting a content for your Facebook Live, go to your sheet of stories and look at what you could possibly include that is going to make sense for that Facebook Live. All right? And make sure you're sharing at least two stories. And a key number five, the last point I want to cover today is that your energy is everything. How your energy is makes the biggest difference whether people are going to watch or not, okay? So what can you do to manage your energy before you go live? The things that I do, I'll go for a jog, right? If it's a really important episode, if I'm doing a longer live than not, right? Especially if I'm making offers, right? So I'm going to make sure I go for a jog or I exercise before to get my energy up. I dance. I listen to inspiring audios. I listen to music. That may not be what you do, but think about what you can do that really works for you to raise your energy, to raise your frequency up before you go live. Make sense? So that's what I wanted to share with you today. We also, we covered all this and a whole lot more in a recent Facebook Live. So uh, if you haven't seen that, we're going to post a link below um, that you can watch. So make sure you watch the whole thing. 
and in one of the next episodes we're also going to dive into the structure of Facebook Live and what are specifically the things to cover in your structure and the things to hit so that you are as effective as you can be. So this is all I have for you today and I will see you in the next training video.